welcome to my very first um, crochet vlog. So my name is Emma and I am the designer behind Emma Crafts Design. I just wanted to tell you a bit more about how I started. So I design Amigurumi, which are those very cute crochet toys. Um, and I started knitting when I was very little with my grandma. And um, when I moved to Australia in 2011, I um, discovered crochet and Amigurumi and that's what really got me started. So I spent a few years really just crocheting a lot and it really kind of kept me sane while I was studying as well. And then I decided that I wanted to create my very own toys. So that's when I started doing a bit more um, design. I actually used to blog quite a few times a week, between two and three times a week. But once I had my first child, I found that I didn't have the time anymore to put that kind of effort into sharing my projects. So what happened is that I stopped and I only shared on Instagram when I finished my projects. But that means that I wasn't really sharing any of my process and I really stopped sharing all my works in progress as well. What I thought I would do is I would start um, this vlog to get back into that sharing of my works in progress, not just my finished finish project. Um, because I really, I really enjoy actually looking at other people's work and looking at their process on how they make things. Um, this is why I also really want to share that with you and I hope that you enjoy it. So um, I will um, first start with my finished project. So I'm only going to show you the things that I've finished in the last month. So we're going to start with this guy. So this is Percy, Percy the Pelican. And it's, um, so obviously it's very white and my lights is kind of acting up there. But um, yeah, I've been remaking the pattern. Let me see if I can make it a little bit better for you guys. Here we go. So yeah, I've been remaking his pattern and so I needed to take some pictures for um, mostly the eyes and the crest assembly. Um, and yeah, so I've been remaking him. I've had lots of fun um, recently. I've started to crochet eyes and embroider around them. Um, so I've been inspired by one of my crochet friends, um, Kaki. She's um, one of my friends from the French um, community that I'm part of and yeah she does those amazing eyes and so I've been really inspired to start doing those um, so you probably see them in a few of my recent makes actually um, and yeah so this is Percy it was pretty quick make but again you know sometimes you just start a project and don't finish it for a long time um, the other one that I have finished as well is this guy so this is Tina the turtle so that's also one of my patterns. Um, I have slightly modified my pattern. So my original pattern also has um, a shell, an extra shell that you put on top. But I've actually quite been liking um, doing them without all the plates for the shell. And I think they look quite cute this way. So yeah, Tina the turtle. Um, I've actually used a um, doubled up cotton thread for this guy. Um, just because I wanted to try to make one a little bit bigger than the original size that I've been making it with. So for this one I've used a thicker, um, so yeah, double stranded cotton yarn and I have used a 5mm crochet hook to make her. Um, another one of um, my patterns that I hadn't really um, finished, I was just sitting in a drawer, is this guy. So this is Bilbo the Bilby. Um, and yeah, so he, I designed him um, last year for the Amigurumi um, design contest. So that's hosted by Amigurumi.com, I think they're called now. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, the, their theme was celebrations and um, in Australia, so I'm, I'm in Australia right now, and in Australia they don't have an Easter bunny because bunnies are actually invasive and so instead they have the Easter bilby. So a bilby is um, an, an Australian animal and it's got um, really long ears so yeah you can see why they're the one delivers the Easter eggs <laughs> instead of the bunnies. Um, and yeah I think those guys are really cute so I thought I would design one and um, yeah I really like their really long tail 
I haven't actually put any pipe cleaner in this one, I just stuffed it. I think it works pretty well as well. Um, and yeah, he's just made with cotton yarn. I do a lot of my Amiga Remove cotton. And um, yeah, I was really happy to finish him because I have another one that I keep. So I have a wall where I keep all my patterns, all my models that I've made with, pat with my patterns. And um, my son always wants to steal them from me. Um, so this is going to be for him. Um, yeah, and so that's all of my own patterns that I finished in the last month. I also have finished quite a few other um, amigurumi. So the first one I'll show you is the one that was a work in progress since um, December last year. Um, so yeah, this is the Moose Nog. So it's a pattern by Crafty Gibbon. And so that was really a pleasure make for me. So um, yeah. I just saw it, it was part of the Hurley Jolly um, Christmas Cow and um, yeah, it was just so cute and so I really wanted to make it. Um, I had started it and just hadn't finished assembling it. So it was just sitting in pieces in one of my drawers and I thought, oh come on, you've got to finish it before this Christmas, so here it is. Um, yeah, it's it was really cute, it's a lot bigger than what I thought, um, first when I saw that pattern I thought, oh okay, it's going to be you know small and then I just started with like the endless and I was like, okay, it's going to actually be really, really big. <laughs> yeah, very cute pattern. I was very happy to finally finish it. It's um, got a pipe cleaner in here to make the candy cane and I've actually added an extra bit of um, wire as well at the bottom to help it because it was kind of floppy and um, so yeah, I just added that extra thing for support. And I embroidered the eyes, um, making it like, you know, having a little cute face. So yeah, I really like this guy. Okay, and then I also really like to test patterns for um, other people. So some of them are my friends and some of them are just people that I've been following and really admiring on Instagram. And so I've tested two patterns last month. Um, the first one is this guy, it's so cute. So this guy is a Kikui. If you've ever played um, Le The Legend of Zelda, one of the ladies from the French crochet community that I'm part of. So I'll probably talk about those, um, this community quite a bit because they inspire me a lot. So they're called La Ganguette. Um, and yeah, so that's um, from Crochet Key. Um, and yeah, it's super cute. It's free on Instagram. She's released that pattern for free on Instagram. It's super clever. So you actually go and um, this one, you don't have to do any shaping while you're crocheting you just do the shaping with the threads you can probably see there um so that's very clever it's kind of similar to when you do a pumpkin and then um yeah for the little um grass on top i've actually just um dot knotted around a wire and that helps to give it its shape and then the front was really cool you literally just use some felt to do that um, nice shape at the front and it goes really well, I think, with the crochet. So, yeah, I had lots of fun testing it. It was really fun to make. And the pattern is available for free on um, Crochet Key um, Instagram. Uh, also, I forgot to mention, but I will be putting all the details for all the things that I show you into a blog post on my website. So I'll put the link um, down on the description and you can access it and then go um, to see all the patterns that I'm mentioning and I'll put all the links there with a little description as well so yes so that's a kickway pattern and then the second test that I have done was actually quite a long test but it was really awesome um, it's this guy so this is the drag the nudie branch dragon by the geeky octopus and um, yeah, it was really fun to make. So you crochet first the body, so that blue part, and that's all done in one go. And there's some really clever um, back and forth to create those bends. And then you do the top of the body and the bottom of the body are two separate pieces that you then sew on. So if you don't like sewing, this pattern's probably not for you. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It's very clever. It looks amazing. I decided to choose a rainbow yarn to make um, the top 
and then kind of like a more like gray neutral to make the bottom um but yeah it was very cool to make um the fins you also make them in two pieces and then you crochet around to have that effect um yeah and i just think it's super cute and it's um inspired by um i don't know if you've seen those nudie branch so nudie branch are sea slugs um, and yeah, it's inspired by those um, nudie branch that are normally um, dark blue and white. Um, yeah, they're really cool. So that's my nudie branch dragon. All right, awesome. So now um, we can move on, on to my work in progress or whips. So, okay, I will now show you the project of shame, <laughs> which is my longest standing work in progress. I think I've started it in... 2014 so it's been a while it's actually moved down from Brisbane to Melbourne with us as well um, it is a Lord of the Ring inspired Gravgen blanket so I'll just show you one of the finished squares and I, then I'll show you my last square that I'm working on so I'm almost there with the blanket it's almost there so this is actually one of my own um, design as well um, you can probably tell this is Aragorn so yeah, they're quite big and I'm, I haven't made the task easy for me. I've actually decided to make it all in bubble stitch. So if you don't know bubble stitch, um, it's, yeah, it's actually quite time consuming to make. So you're doing, um, see, it's really good. It's really nice and textured. So it's a really cool stitch. And I think it's going to be a really great kind of blanket, even um, as a mat um, for like kids. It could be really good for that. But yeah, I haven't made my life easy. So anyway, so I have um, characters all around the blanket and in the middle is a big panel that says the Lord of Rings. So yes, this is my biggest work in progress and I will um, aim to finish it before the end of the year. It's just, I can't really crochet much on it because I um, need to focus and I find it's really hard for me to focus at the moment, especially when the kids are around. Um, yeah, I just can't take it because I'm like I've got so many colors. I'll show you my current block So that's the current block that I have but you'll see there's um, Like a bunch of different colors and it's a bit messy as you work with This is um, going to be this is my last block. This is Legolas So but it, it's gonna look good when it's finished it's just, it's been taking me ages, and um, that's the back. I've actually, um, I'm pretty proud of how neat the backs are. I think I've done a good job. I don't know yet if I'm going to line it with a fabric at the back, or if I'm just going to leave it all crochet. I think I might just leave it all crochet, because then I can just call it done. Um, but yeah, so yeah, there's kind of like balls everywhere. I've started like using those clamps there, but it's quite messy. It's a bit hard. So that's why I haven't been doing it um, during the day. So I generally can only have a few minutes at night to do it. So that's why it's been taking me ages. That's my excuse anyway. So I also have an, another few blankets, but I'll only show you another one. And then I might show you the third blanket I'm working on in October. Hopefully when the Lord of Ring ones is finished, I can show you the other one. Um, so the other blanket that I have at the moment, um, and this is kind of like, it's not really, I don't have a deadline for it. I don't really care when I finish it. Um, but I've started making a scrappy metered blanket. So this is, um, a pattern by Petals to Pico and that's free on their website. So I'll just put a, um, a link to that as well. But yeah, so it's super easy. I've just been changing colors with each square. And so it's all continuous. So you don't have any sewing, which I I don't really like sewing for blankets. So I'm, I don't mind in amigurumi. I don't, I don't like making, you know, a lot of sewing in amigurumi blankets. I just can't stand it. So yeah, it's just a join as you go. And so you work, so, See, to make the, me the metered effect, you kind of work um, in rows and then come back and decrease in the middle and then come back and decrease in the middle and so on and so forth. And then once you finish at the top there, you will actually just crochet in the ribs there and come back on another square. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. 
Um, it's quite large already. I don't know if you can. It's quite large already. I have some sort of organization with colors, but I'm using all my scraps. And this is because um, when I first started, I bought a lot of acrylic yarn. And acrylic yarn is great when you're starting, and it's actually pretty nice for blankets. I like it for blankets. But I've started realizing that I don't really like acrylic for amigurumi. Um, just because I feel like it holds their shape a bit less. And it probably, I mean, you can still wash it, but I've also find that it frays a little bit and it gets a bit too fluffy when you wash it. And I like to see the nice stitches, um, like the nice stitch definition when I do amigurumi. So anyway, so I've decided to stop working with acrylic for amigurumi, and so I have all these balls of yarn, um, like random balls of yarn that I have left over that I didn't really know what to do with, and so I've decided to make that scrappy blanket with. So I'm hoping I can just get rid of most of my acrylic with this. So yeah, the organizations that I have, so there we go. So um, on... So I alternate each row, but on these rows I use um, blues, orange, yellows, and browns, and then on, and whites, and then on the one here, so every other row, I use the greens, um, grey, blacks, and pinks. And then I generally also alternate every three squares. So I normally do like a kind of like a gray or black, a green and a pink or purple. And then for this one, I do either like, you know, different kinds of blues, orange or yellow, and then um, browns or beige or white. So that's kind of my logic. Um, it's, I haven't really like pre-planned pre it, but I'm trying to like keep it so that it looks scrappy, but nice. You know, still scraps, but it still looks like there's some sort of organization. So that it all goes together, and I can pretty much put any of those shades with it, and it's pretty good. Okay, um, so what other work in progress do I have? Um, so I have a couple more uh, unfinished amigurumi that were hanging in a drawer. So um, I've got this guy, so this guy's almost finished. So I just have to sew that bit and then make a second arm. So this is uh, Benjo the Bunny, um, and I've just released a pattern earlier this year for this guy and his little friend Benedict, and yeah, I just need to retake pictures for the pattern, and so this guy is half finished. And then um, Benedict, poor Benedict the Bear, he only got a head um, and some ears, so yeah, I because that's the only different part in the pattern is that it's a two-for-one pattern, so it comes with both Banjo and Benedict. Um, and I pretty much have instructions on how to make the faces differently. And I also suggest different colors for the bodies. So I think for this guy, I've actually um, decided to go a little bit different for the pattern. I've actually, um, so in the pattern itself, I put to do alternating like greens, light greens and dark greens. But um, yeah, I've talked to um, my husband. My husband really helps me to choose colors a lot of the time. Uh, and I've decided to make this guy in oranges um, and yellow, like dark yellow and orange. So yeah, so that will be one of my things to finish for September. Um, and then I also have another work in progress. Ooh, she's lost her hair. So my other work in progress is this gal. If I put the hand the right way, it's better. So this is Jennifer. She is a ballerina elf. Um, and she's designed by Ohana Hook. So Claudie is another one of my friends from La Ganguette. Um, and she's awesome. So she's completely like, I mean, both... Both Jennifer and Claudia are awesome. But um, Jennifer is really cool. She can be posed. So I've put a wireframe through the whole thing so that she can um, dance. She can do different dance moves. So the legs and the arms are wired. She's losing her hair. 
because I haven't sewn it yet. Um, and yeah, she's super cute. I've got her little elf ears is in here. Oh, I've got her dress too, so she's going to have a really cute ballerina dress in bright yellow. Um, and I've got ears as well in here. So do the ears will just go in here. So yeah, and she's a pattern test for um, Clody that I'm doing right now. Um, and I will aim to finish it very soon. So that's on my um, urgent to-do list. So that will definitely be done by next month. Okay, so um, that's all I've got for my work in progress. Now I just have one more thing to show you and that's a design in progress. Okay, so I just had to go and um, get my design in progress. So um, every year for Halloween I um, design a new amigurumi because I love Halloween and I just can't help it. <laughs> so I have to design a new thing every year. So um, in the last couple of years I've made vegetable pumpkins. So I have made a turnip um, with a pumpkin face and then I've made last year a gourd. Um, so a gourd is kind of a type of pumpkins. Um, but this year I thought I'd be a little bit more original and I decided to make a spooky tree. So this is Sabrina the spooky tree. So she's my first prototype. And um, she's got skull, I don't know if you can see, she's got skull leaves. Um, and yeah, I just really like how she turned out and she's got her branches are like little horns. And obviously she's got a spooky or spooked face, maybe? I don't know. What do you think? Do you think she looks scared or do you think she looks scary? Which one is it? Either way, I think she's actually really cute. Um, and so she will be my Halloween design for this year. Um, I'm going to release her probably early October. Um, and there will be a giveaway as well where she will be entered as one of the prizes for the giveaway. So stay tuned on this. Um, there'll be more details coming up soon. And that's all my design in progress. I have other designs on the go um, in various stages, but um, yeah, some of them aren't even made. They're just kind of ideas. So I might show a bit more of that later if you're interested. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing a little bit more of my designs and I can show you things that are in various stages. Um, maybe I can show you some of my failed attempts as well. I might try to keep them. Generally I kind of try to reuse them so that they're not wasted but I can keep a couple to show you before they get um, re repurposed into something else. Um, today was all crochet but I also um, do some knitting and I've been enjoying doing some drawings lately so let me know if you would be interested in seeing some of my knitted stuff as well. So if um, you want to join me in the meantime I am Emma Crafts Design on Instagram I also have a website that's just mrcraftsdesign.com. So I'll put everything in the description down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.